all stopped around here. <laughs> Whoa! That's an incredible background from this gas station. It's like 45 on here on Ella Many Boulevard. So I was not paying attention and I ran into this fence and it's my, my handlebar slid against the fence. Look at that, all, all cut up. I was going this way. I was not paying attention. That fence is not easy to see when bicycling. I see so many trolley lines up above. But those aren't for trolleys so much as like buses that use the trolley lines. So I had this black lady who was previously walking around the inside of McDonald's with a beer can come up to me and ask if I could spare 25 cents. Alright, the east side of San Francisco is looking rough. Homeless sleeping around, poop on the sidewalk. Got homeless beggars at the McDonald's. living all up underneath that bridge. Some lady's volunteering to paint the sign. You know, cities never want to advertise where the homeless safe areas are, the homeless areas that aren't going to be enforced as strictly. 
I never want to advertise that homeless people just kind of discover that they're not getting harassed so much and then that spreads word of mouth and more people move into that area it's just it's just kind of something that happens all right cities cities will never officially designate particular areas as being homeless friendly it's just something you kind of have to find out but then you know that friendliness can only extend so far when the trash builds up just a uh, public there's a public works patrol security patrol here's more of the public works there's a patrol they gotta keep this all uh, safe and secure it's a lot to protect and I guess this is a crime ridden area it looks like I want to go to the food bank. Okay, oh yeah, East East San Francisco. They got people setting up long-term shacks. Faux show. So I, I went by Pennsylvania and didn't quite notice that turn just across the streets and yeah. Wow, this is, this is not a sidewalk anymore. Jesus. This is Pennsylvania. I looked back and I saw some homeless guy uh, peeking out of his shelter because I knocked his bicycle down and made noise. Let me specify that was an older white male. Kind of a sandy blonde. White people are more comfortable being homeless on the streets because of the perception that they get treated more kindly by the law enforcement. No, I'm... oh wait, maybe not. I was about to say I'm sure people go in here and hang out, but I could be wrong because it's active seems to me whenever there's a major financial district homeless people are always welcome and maybe that's maybe that's a psychology that the, the, the bankers want is to have that perception that they could lose it all and be homeless to have them around might might just be a kind of motivation okay so this is a San Francisco where uh, food bank warehouse they're gonna they're always gonna have good hours here but that doesn't mean that they're given any food I don't believe they give any food but I'm just gonna ask where are the food bank locations see what they have if anything's changed in the past few months since I've updated my Google Maps Hey, do you keep a list of your food banks here somewhere? List of food banks in this neighborhood? Yeah, where do you dis where you dis distribute? Okay, what's your zip code? I can give you a list in your zip code. Well, all right, so I got a big old list. And it's it's like I kind of want to Oh, wow. I kind of want to copy it on video, separate video. Oh, jeez. Mm, uh, yeah. 
This car was obviously broken into. You can see the lion just hanging out. Wow. I'd rather go get coffee and then drive back. <laughs> Habitation from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. They're serious about people sleeping in their cars. All right, well, in an effort to try to get to the, the Bay Coast, I see that uh, the companies own a lot of it. So, DHL, they have signs and all that. Old dock that burnt up that somebody set it on fire. So there's really no oh wait, public shore? They got kind of a line here. Huh. Doesn't look too safe to walk on that. And then I can go further down. Public access areas. How far does it go? So I guess that's it for public access. Now, more private area. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Lots of old buildings, old style buildings. Some in use, some not in use. <clears throat> Very rough, rough area. Interesting though, broken all windows up there. It looks like they're trying to restore some of these old buildings and I'm now getting in the, ooh, getting in the, I think the trail again. This is pretty neat, they're trying to restore this old thing. They see that there's still hope, probably hope for this too. Wow, big old entrance. Wow, that's some old, big old windows. I wonder what that used to be. Lots of old architecture from like the early 1900s. Jesus, where's my trail? All the, a lot of windows over there broken. Broken windows section of San Francisco. <laughs> There's a cat just casually walking. Wow, that's pretty old stuff. Hey kitty. Fred Noonan Company Pier 70. Okay, I thought I saw that there was a trail, but maybe not. There's so much. People broke into that building. Put graffiti right on the glass, even here. Oh, the sun. Okay. 
All right, at this point I can finally see the bridge that goes to Oakland. That's the bridge I crossed. They used to have a pier that extended way out to there. They got a pier here with all the gay parade stuff. I don't think I'll have access. <laughs> I don't think they want anybody messing with the gay parade stuff. That's kind of funny. Whoa, oh my god, this is a financial district. Jeez. Just massive. Well, I sort of want to wrap around on the coast. I think that's the AT&T Stadium I see up ahead in front of a lot of these tall buildings. Yeah, the Giants play here. That's the stadium. Looks like I can cross up here. AT&T Park. Looks like they have a dog security at this park. Alright, I'm not sure how easy it is to walk, just walk right through the financial area. I'm gonna give her a go though. It's kind of a shortcut.
Okay, so this area actually seems familiar. I was here for a couple of days. Didn't really explore enough. You can see the Coitus Tower and the bridge that goes to uh, that near Oakland. They really built the northern part of San Francisco into some deep mountain, deep valley, deep mountain, wavy pattern of a. a landscape they really built into it very deep all right so the golden gate is viewable from here yeah it looks pretty cool So, best I can do is take the stairs here.
Palace of Fine Arts. Alright, I climbed the Lion Stairs on Lion Street. This is the peak. There's a lot of exercisers on the Lion Stairs. Oh, it was a climb. Oh, but I guess it's good exercise. <laughs> 